Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have the final piece of my hashtag work from home module sew along. Last piece of that module. <laughs> Sorry that didn't flow together as well as it did in my head. Um, which is my one piece. So I have elected to do a seven piece module as opposed to the standard six. Um, so the standard six is of course one topper like a blazer, cardigan, jacket, something along those lines, a layering piece basically. Um, two bottoms and three tops. But I like to wear jumpsuits and one piece outfits, dresses and stuff like that. So I often like to add a one piece onto that as well. So that is what I have done for my seventh piece. And that is what I have to share with you today. Um, it feels a little bit like a cheat though, because I think you could really, like this really works for uh, another bottom kind of. Um, but I have made for my one piece, the Mila Dungarees by Tilly and the Buttons. I have had this pattern for, gosh, I think a, maybe like a Black Friday sale last year. I bought a couple of her patterns and then I like immediately had them printed off at pdfplotting.com um, just because you have to have so much in order to place an order with PDF plotting and I thought well you know I've purchased these patterns so if I print them off then I will be more likely to use them. <laughs> Ha ha ha, silly me. Um, anyway, it's literally, I have a roll of patterns that I've had printed off that I have not yet sewn up, um, like sitting underneath my cutting table. So clearly it's been there for a year, close to a year. Anyway, <laughs> I had pinned quite a few like skinny legged um, overalls that I really wanted to try um, on Pinterest, like outfits that I wanted to put together. So I thought this would be a perfect one to choose. Number one, I already had it printed off. And um, I've been pretty happy with the way Tilly and the Buttons patterns fit on me in the past. Um, so anyway, I made it up and I am in love with it. Now, if you watch the plans video for this module, I had originally chosen a stretch denim from my stash because this asks for stretch wovens um, because it is a fitted uh, bottom. And so I was just going to do a denim, um, you know, your standard denim. I thought I'd get a lot of wear, but I really wanted something chocolate brown because my module was kind of camels with a little bit of chocolate and olive were kind of the colors I was going with for this module. And um, while I think denim is probably, it's a pretty good neutral, like it's in my wardrobe, I wear jeans all the time. Um, I was just like, it bothered me just a little bit that I had dark blue in there, which is ridiculous. I know. But then I was shopping with my good friend Cisa. We had met at a Joann's in between. She was up um, in the Ind Indianapolis area visiting her mom. We hadn't seen each other in, oh my gosh, since before COVID. Um, we talk on the phone quite a bit, but um, we met at a Joann's in between my house and her mom's house. And um, I was helping her pick out just some fabric. She was doing some fabric shopping and I came across this chocolate brown. If you watch the weekly vlogs, you've already seen this fabric, but it's this chocolate brown stretch cotton twill that has a very, I would say somewhat faint animal print on it, like a leopard print, because it's like chocolate on chocolate. You know, it's not your typical leopard print that's usually like a mustard or a camel background with the black. Um, so it's a little more tonal. I, I mean, it's still leopard print um, dunkarees, so let's not... <laughs> I'm not really kidding myself, but um, I was when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that would make the most amazing pair of overalls. So I bought it, and I'm so glad that I did. So I put the denim back in my stash. I think that um, I'm going to see how much wear that these get, to be honest. Um, I'm not normally an overalls type of um, person. It's just not something I've had in my wardrobe. Um, although I do own the Ginny overalls by Closet Case or Closet Core Patterns, um, I've just uh, made the both the shorts and the um, like the pants basically of that pattern. Um, I've not made, I take that back, I have made the overalls once but they really need like shorts but they really needed a lot of adjustments and I used too thin of a linen and it didn't work out but you know. Anyway, so I want to see how much wear these get before I make a second pair. Um, I've ironed my pattern and put it away so it is there if I decide to uh, make another one. Um, but I love the way they fit. So I made a size 5. Tilly has um, like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think she goes up to like size 8 and I can't remember off the top of my head what those measurements are. Um, but I made a 5 and I think I made that based off of my waist measurement if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. So I think it, my hip was in between a four and a five, which is common that my waist falls into a larger size than my hips. But because this does fit, um, not at your natural waist, it's right below your natural waist, but I wanted it to hug, but not be uncomfortably tight. So I went with the five, and I think that was 
pretty perfect. Now, when I was sewing these up, I did shave some off the hips um, because I, I just, my hips are very straight. Like I don't have a lot of curve to my hip. Um, so a lot of times when a pant pattern has quite a bit of curve in the hip, I can just kind of shave that curve off and it fits me a lot better um, just because my hip doesn't curve like that. And that's what I did on these and it worked out pretty well. So this pattern has two like um, button plackets basically on either side. Um, I'm able, again, because I have such straight hips, I can keep these bottom two buttoned all the time um, and then I just have to button the top one here at the waistband. Um, on either side, I could probably get away with just unbuttoning one, honestly, because <laughs> I'm just very straight through the hips. But um, anyway, I used jean buttons from my stash and the antique um, brass, I guess is what it is. And I used a, uh, I had purchased, I guess it's when the Ginny overalls first came out. She was running a deal and I purchased two or three of the overalls, because I have one left of the overall um hardware kits. So these also have, these not only have um, the part that hooks on there, but they also have the adjustable piece, which this pattern actually um, just has you using this piece, um, but I added the adjustable piece. So she has you trying it on and adjusting it and then doing it. But I like making these adjustable in case things kind of stretch as things get older, you can still um, adjust as need be. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm happy that I use that hardware kit. And again, these are from Closet Core Patterns. Um, I think think, if I'm not mistaken, I'll look and I'll link it down below. I think Stylemaker Fabrics also carries these kits um, and it's the Closet Core Patterns kits. Um, I'll check and I'll link it down below. Um, again, they've been in my stash for a while, but yeah, I was glad to, happy to be able to use those. They do not come with enough buttons to do everything. I just happen to have almost an exact match of jean buttons in my stash just from Wawack. Um, so I'll leave a link down to those as well for what I used. Uh, what else? Let's see. When I picked my size, I didn't look at the bust at all because it's just the bib, um, you know, and it fits over whatever. Um, this also has the nice little back bib part that I think is very cute. I don't know. I just think these are really sweet. The only alterations I made to the pattern is I shortened the leg quite a bit, actually. I shortened it by two inches before I cut them out, and then once I cut them out, I decided I didn't want them to go full length. I want them, wanted them to be like a 7 8 pant a little bit. Um, and I do have them cuffed in the footage that you're seeing, but even when they're full length, they're short enough that I, I like that, where they sit on top of my, like right at my ankle bone, as opposed to being like on top of my foot, which is what I prefer. So after I made them up, I ended up taking another two inches off before I did the regular hem. So that is the only adjustment that I've made to this pattern, is just the length and the leg. Um, and again, I've got them cuffed at the moment. So that's nice. Um, this fabric has just a little bit of stretch, not much, um, and it's perfect. Um, I feel fine bending down in it, you know, sitting in it. It all feels like I've got enough room. So, um, you know, that's the big thing with jumpsuits and overalls and stuff like that, making sure you've got enough room to move. <laughs> it may be fine when you're standing, but to make sure you got room to move. Um, it's got a nice big pocket here in the front. It's kind of hard to see. Um, I use just chocolate brown for my top stitching. It's got two back back pockets here. There's no side pockets, which is a little sad. I think the Jenny um, overalls, the closet core pattern Jenny overalls do have pockets. They're just a wider leg. I mean, you could make them skinnier, I guess, but um, I really like these though. I mean, these are meant for a stretch woven um, and they're just very cute. And again, I, I have not tried these on yet with my um, module tops. I'm waiting. I want to be just as surprised when I film this next week as you guys are. So I have not tried my tops on with my bottoms yet or with this or with the topper yet. I've only put it on with, um, you know, I've been trying everything on with my Hepburn turtleneck and then also my Glissando pants from Love Notions. Um, so I'm very excited to see what everything looks like. Um, so you'll be seeing true reaction from me next week. So yeah, there you have it. My one piece. I think that this is going to be a lot of fun to wear this winter, both with cardigans over it. And I'm knitting a cardigan right now that's in kind of a ochre color, kind of a cross between a chocolate and an ochre. Um, from some gifted yarn and I am almost done with the first sleeve and I just haven't, I've really been, I did the whole body of the thing in such like a crazy amount of time, really quick. And then it's taken me forever to do these sleeves. I'm just getting bored. So <laughs> um, almost done with the first sleeve, then I'll get that second sleeve done. Then I just have to knit the neck band around and I've got a little cardigan, which I think will be adorable over this with like a fun, bright pop of color um, for a turtleneck would be a lot of fun or go more muted too. 
So anyway, there you have it, my one piece for my module. So next week, I'll, you'll be seeing the entire module, just the seven pieces put together, um, all the different combinations next week, I'll be showing that. And then on Friday, which is the day before the end of the contest, I will be um, kind of showing you how I'm pulling things from my closet to go. And then just going forward, I'm gonna just be cartwheeling off this and building up some modules um, that can kind of go with this original module and just, I mean, it's gonna be sky's the limit on how many different things will go together in the closet, which is just a really fun and exciting thing to see. And if you guys wanna join along with that as you move along, that'd be great too. It just, it, it'll be past the challenge, basically. So again, make sure that you have your six or seven pieces um, posted on Instagram by midnight Eastern Standard Time on October 31st. I'll be randomly picking a winner on November 1st. We have two prize packages, or one prize package, but for with two prizes. One is a $50 voucher to um, Screech Owl Fine Fabrics, and the other one one is a one month subscription to the In a Haystack digital sewing pack. So um, very good ones, very exciting ones. And so yeah, make sure you um, tag, you know, I've got all the instructions on how to enter in the description box down below. So make sure you go have a look at that. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Um, Friday, I'm actually going to start doing some gift guides for you all. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be, because a lot of people have asked me, like, some of my favorite sewing notions, um, you know, as Christmas comes, making their own Christmas list for pe things for people to get them. So I thought I would go ahead and just kind of put together a list of my favorite things, um, if you guys are interested in that. And I don't, again, I don't know if it'll be one video, if I'll break it up into, like, sewing books and then sewing notions and that kind of thing. Um, so stay tuned. I haven't filmed it yet, so, um, but yes, one, a video of that sort will be going up on Friday. So be on the lookout for that, and then Sunday we start our M5894, uh, I think that's right, <laughs> the Jean Sew Along starts on Sunday. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you all are having a wonderful Tuesday, and I will see you all next time. Bye!